To get started in class, we're going to set up our tools and make sure that our RTO SDR works with our particular setup. In order to do that, make sure that you have purchased a similar RTL2832, uh, and this one has an R820T tuner. Other ones have a popular E4000 chip. Uh, just make sure you get the right driver. If you're in Windows, you're going to need to download the Zadig driver, which I've supplied and follow the steps to make sure that you install that properly. This should show up on Mac right away and there's a separate link to download the uh, and install some of the drivers for Linux. Once you've unboxed everything, plugged in your antenna and you have the tool recognized in Windows or in Mac, in Windows it would be a WinUSB, we're going to go ahead and download Cubic SDR. There's plenty of tools out there. I'm choosing this to get started because it's easy and there's a build for Mac, Windows, and you can pull an app image into Linux really easily. So that should fit everyone's uh, flavor. Once you've downloaded and installed Cubic SDR, open it up. It should ask you right away which device you would like to use. I'm going to choose the Second RTL 2832U, and I'm going to hit start. From here, you can see we've got a little bit of noise, and we're going to use the FMS bands, and then we're going to choose a frequency here. You can actually use your scroll wheel to pick a frequency, and once we've selected one, let's just try 92.7. The next thing we're going to do is change our center frequency and try to pull in some of the NWA or NOA radio, uh, weather radio. So if you go down to, uh, we'll use the city of Charlottesville, uh, Covesville has a uh, 1.62.45 megahertz frequency that we can tap into. So in cubic SDR, we're going to set our center frequency by pressing space. And I've set mine to 162.45. Press enter to set. You can see that center frequency changed. And we're also going to change this frequency as well. And an easy way to get close to the frequency is to just click on the waterfall. And then we can drag our demodulator back and forth to find it. Temperature was 53 you can see it's starting to come in, and the pressure was 30.06 but I actually want to be on narrow band FM. At Louisa, fog was reported. And Temperature 37. That it's working. Calm. We can bring this At exactly Pulpiter, to fog was reported. The Temperature 36. Calm. At Orange, Again, fog was reported. Transform. 36 we degrees. The signal. We can see the waterfall. Calm. And everything is Richmond, fair skies. At this point, if you need to, make sure your sample rate is within the range. Mine should actually be at 2.88 megahertz, and my audio should be 48 kilohertz. Uh, that should work pretty well for this particular device. If you'd like to, you can change some of the gain settings yourself. I just have it on automatic gain to make sure everything is working. You may have to move your antenna around as it's not very powerful. If you have any questions, please let me know. If you get everything working at this point, please send a screenshot that looks something like this uh, and submit it in the form that I will post. Good luck and let me know if you need help with anything. Looking forward to a great semester.